no matter the location. From OAK LA to LV, I'm a Raider. Remember, the Raiders Report is live every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. The questions that you're about to see on screen are from our live Q&A. So if you want to make sure your questions get featured on our Raiders mailbags, click that notification bell, hit the subscribe button, and join us live every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. All right, let's get into it. Red up Rage, Caden. If we bring in Josh Gordon, who are we cutting? So... If we bring in Josh Gordon, I think the two biggest names that kind of ring a bell to me, you're going to get rid of um, a guy like Zay Jones, because if you get rid of Zay Jones, it's going to be able to save you $1.4 million. Also, I'd be curious of why you brought in Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar is going to make nine hundred k this season. That's already guaranteed. I also think, though, that's bad news for Marcel Aitman, Keelan Doss, and Rico Gafford. Eduardo Ruiz, what's up, Mitch? Where's our big back for third or fourth in inches? So the big running back, you're looking at Rod Smith. So one of the reasons why the Raiders last season were looking at guys like LeGarrette Blunt, also Rod Smith, is because they were looking for that short yardage back. However, however, there's also Devontae Booker, which I don't think he'll be that, but William Stanback is an interesting player, right? Played in the CFL, really ran tough. But the guy that you don't see on screen, it's Alec Ingold as well, where last season he had 10 rushing attempts. Seven of those went for a first down. He's been putting in some hard work this offseason, but as much as you know, we have big running backs like Smith, Standback, if they make the team, they're going to be keeping Josh Jacobs fresh. I want Josh Jacobs to run the football as much as humanly possible because he's our best dude. Jason, get a picture. And, yes, I always see your tweets. Mitch, what do you think about Trayvon Mullen and Damon Arnett's stats are going to be? Also, what do you think about Jones's deal? So we'll start with Chris Jones. Chris Jones signed a five, what was it, five-year, sixty million guarantee with was a hundred million. Tom, hundred million. Chris Jones, four eighty. That's what it was. Sorry, I'm thinking of five with Miles Garrett for one twenty-five. Um, too many deals happened today. Um. I think it's a good deal for the Chiefs because he's one of the best young players in the league, 26 years old and interior presence. But it's also smart for them because, I mean, let's face it, right now is the Chiefs' window to win Super Bowls. And with Mahomes still being cheap, he is cheap this year, go and try to win it. So it's a good move for him. In terms of Damon Arnett, I think he's going to play in like 500 snaps this season. He's going to split time with Prince of Mugamara. Trayvon Mullen. I'm going to just talk about snaps. I think if he can play in like 90% of our defensive snaps, that's a win. If he could be around, I don't know, 50, 60 tackles, let's try to get to 12 double-digit pass breakups and two or three picks, I'd be happy with that. Let's go to Raider Moore. Mitch, do you see the Raiders report going live at Stage Door Casino, Raiders Bar here in Vegas this season? Well, I actually might be taking a trip out to Vegas at the end of the month. I think it'll be like around July 31st is kind of like my date. I still don't know if it's 100% going to happen. If you own a bar out in Vegas or if you live out in Vegas, hey, hit me up. I'll be uh, hit me up on Instagram because I'm going to be checking out some bars there. So if you want to invite me, I've heard a lot of good things about Stage Door Casino. But if they want me to come there, yeah, I'd be uh, more than happy to. So I want games to happen this year. I don't know about you, and if I can go to games, that's even better because what I really want to be able to do is go tailgate with the nation. And I remember last year, you know, the Monday Night Football game against the Broncos. That was a lot of fun. I went to the Week 9 game against the Lions. That one was probably the most entertaining game. And then Week 15 was the last game in Oakland, which was pretty incredible, just the whole experience in general. But I'll be honest, I got so drunk that game that – I don't really remember too much about it besides the heartbreak. So if you want to go to a Raiders game in 2020, I want you to start typing me. So I see Raider Moore. I see Lionel Cooper, Jeff Rogers, Richards in there. Uh, who else is in there? Victor. I want to go to some Raiders games as well. And if you want me to hang out with me at a game, hey, hit me up. I'm on IG. I'm on Twitter. And like I said, I'm hopefully going to be going vi visiting Vegas very soon. So if you're out there in that area, let me know. Richard with a... Your quart? Richard Yerquart. All right, we'll see if I got that right. It's like Farquaad from Trek. Uh, why nobody talking about Brian Edwards' wake-up nation? So I don't think anyone's talking about Brian Edwards because he is technically our fourth-best wide receiver right now. Do I think he has a lot of upside? Yes, I do. I think, they're, I, I think John Gruden does like him a lot. 
There has been reports that he was a round one receiver, according to the Raiders. That I don't 100% buy, but he is one of the greatest receivers, if not the greatest receiver ever to come out of South Carolina. He's the all-time leader in receptions there, yards there. He's tied for third, I believe, in terms of receiving touchdowns with 22. I mean, anytime you get that type of production for four years in college coming out of the SEC, that's solid. The reason why people aren't hyping him up yet is because he doesn't have a clear path to playing time. If Tyrell wasn't there, sure, you'd hear a lot more hype around Brian Edwards. Raider Mike, what's up, my dude? Hey, Mitch, when do you think we will start signing the rookies, and how many years do you think Ruggs signs for? So Ruggs will sign a four-year deal fit with a fifth-year option. That's very, very common. You see it basically with all the all the picks. So um, when do I think we start signing the rookies? I think it's going to be closer to camp. So there was a report out there from a Raiders beat writer, and I can't think of his name at the moment, who did say that the team is really waiting for them to be able to come. And once they come to the facility and can test all of them, that's when they're going to sign them. So until that happens, this is a crazy offseason. It's kind of hard to answer a lot of these types of questions. But until the rookies are actually there, in Henderson, in the facilities, and after our team checks them out, that's when you start seeing some of these guys sign. But it's not just Raiders players. I think it's 27% of all rookies are still unsigned, so it's it's not just Raiders players. James, what's up, my dude? Oh, boy. Will we be a dynasty with multiple Super Bowl wins this decade? Can it happen? Can it happen? Sure. Let's win one. Right? Let, like, let's win one. Let's go to the playoffs. Let's win a playoff game. The real thing that's going to be in our way is Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. I mean, if you want to talk about a team that could be a dynasty, as much as I hate to say it, it is the Chiefs. I mean, they have the greatest quarterback playing right now, one of the best quarterbacks that I've seen ever, and they have a really talented team. So can we be a dynasty? Sure, we have a lot of good young pieces, but before we start saying multiple Super Bowls, let's go to the playoffs, let's win a playoff game, let's win one, and then we can talk about being a dynasty. I mean, one of these players would definitely help, but which one, if you had to pick one, would you go with? Would you go with Jadeveon Clowney, type C, or would you go with Everson Griffin, type E? So I want you to let me know right now to the people watching here on YouTube and to the people watching live on Facebook as well, if you had to pick a player that you would want the Raiders to go out and sign, check this one out. And if you haven't already seen my video, for those of you that watch this one, I believe this one's going to come out on Monday. If you haven't seen my Raiders free agent targets video yet, please go check it out. It's on the channel. Let's not go to Tyler. What's up, man? How are the Chiefs going to pay other people than Mahomes and Jones? So <clears throat> Tom and Tom under his best said the cap's not real. So I'll say this. I think actually the way that they've been able to manipulate maybe the right word for Mahomes' contract is brilliant. Like I think what they did with Mahomes' contract is really, really smart. But – Yes, you see the cap space, and I know we always talk about numbers, but you can move contracts around. And the example I'm going to give is like a Rodney Hudson, right? We paid Rodney Hudson three years, $37 million. We wanted to be able to add extra talent. What did he do? He restructured his contract. He's going to be able to backload that where he's going to make a lot more money. If you want to make room for players, you can do that. Are they going to pay a lot of money to those two guys? Absolutely. But when you're Patrick Mahomes and when you're Chris Jones and you're that good, I mean, you pay those guys, right? You don't always go cheap. Because the guys that always go cheap, they don't win a lot of games. Let's go to Chris Gang. What's up, dude? You think Carr can pass the Raider record five touchdown passes in a game? Can he pass it? Sure. I mean, he's broken every other touchdown record realistically for the Raiders and every quarterback stat record. It's In the NFL today, it is a pass-happy league. I actually think the way that Carr breaks a five touchdown passing in a game this upcoming season Probably wouldn't be a good thing. I think it would be us trailing in a game. Like The way that we are going to win is by running the football. And John Gruden's offense with Derek Carr, they, they don't want him to sling it that much. They'd be happy with him throwing for like 250 yards, two touchdowns every game if it led in a win. All right, Manny, what you got for me, homeboy? What are free agents we should go out and get next year? So, Manny... This is a great question. I made a video about some of the top free agents that the Raiders could go out and sign. If you haven't already checked it out, please do. It'll also be, uh, you know, you check it out, subscribe, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. So in terms of some free agents next year, there's a lot of guys. I mean, there's a lot of guys in 2021. The popular names that you're going to see is Jalen Ramsey. I, uh, 
I won't. He's he's not gonna be a free agent, but Aaron Rodgers is gonna be another player we mentioned a lot. Juju Smith Schuster's already being mentioned about the Raiders. So for next year, yeah, stay tuned. Got Rage Caden again. What's up, man? Will the addition of Littleton help out Joiner? Just asking because they were in the team when they went to the Super Bowl. I think it will help at least a little bit because Corey Littleton is a more reliable linebacker, better in coverage, and maybe LaMarcus was trying to do too much, right? And he's also with a new defense. However, I am going to give a lot of credit to Wade Phillips because I do think Wade Phillips, who was the defensive coordinator for the Rams, is one of the most intelligent DCs in the league. And sure, he didn't work out all that well with the Cowboys as a head coach, but he has a great, great track record of being able to get the most out of players, especially on defense. So with Joyner, he was great in 2018. It's why the Raiders paid him all that money. He did struggle, struggle a little bit in nickel, but maybe it's because nickel's not the position he should play. Maybe he should play safety. However, that doesn't seem to be the, what the Raiders want to do right now. But if he doesn't play better, you're going to see this team go to a young guy in Meek Robertson, who I do think I have a lot of confidence in. But I don't know if he's ready to go up against NFL talent right away. Timothy Holland, what's up? You're on the Raiders report. Do you think Mahomes isn't just good because of the talent around him? I mean, he is good because of the talent around him. Like Maybe that's why he's putting up these astronomical numbers. But I'm also going to say watch him. Watch him play. He is mobile. He's got arm talent that is just just absurd to me. And he can throw from all these different angles. Is Andy Reid a great offensive mind? Yes. Do they have a ton of pieces around him? Absolutely. Travis Kelsey's great. Tyree Kill's great. Sammy Watkins, McCool Hardman, a lot of talent. Do they put him in the right position? Yes. But is Patrick Mahomes amazing? Yes, he is. I mean, he does things that you just have never seen before. Jeff. Are we going to use rugs on kickoff and punt returns? It is something that they're talking about. However, I do think that they're going to go with a probably a safer route with a guy like Jalen Rashard as an option. Also, I do know John Gruden loves Nelson Aguilar's ability in special teams. It's something that he talked about multiple, multiple times when the Raiders did sign Nelson Aguilar. So I get that Henry Ruggs is fast, but it does scare me at least a little bit, especially with a player that we drafted really high, also doing punt and kick returns. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this, I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.